Hey guys, welcome back to the Shipmate YouTube channel. This week, we're talking all about thermal printers and how they work. So guys, a couple months ago, I had an employee walk in the office and they said, man, that little printer never runs out of ink. And I kind of got in to tell them about thermal printers and how they work, and I thought it'd be a great idea for a video. So without further ado, let's talk about thermal printers. So there are two types of thermal printers. You have direct print thermal and you have transfer thermal. Uh, what I have here is a Zebra. It's a direct uh, thermal printer, meaning that it prints directly onto the medium and you don't have to have any extra ribbon um, to make that transfer. So... Either a thermal printer can print directly onto the paper or it can transfer uh, ink from a ribbon to the paper. It does this by using heat. So if we open up our zebra here, we'll see there's a print head up here, right? Right in here. And this gets warm. And when it gets warm, it reacts with chemicals in the paper. And it gets you that nice black color that we're used to seeing on receipts on shipping labels and other things and like i said this is a direct thermal printer so it prints directly onto the medium there's nothing in between but if we were dealing with a ribbon or a transfer thermal printer uh, there would be a transfer paper that would get heated up and push onto the paper so that's really what makes the difference between the two types of printers. So most of the ones you're going to encounter now in these are the direct thermal printers because they're easier to use, they save more money, but there are still some instances where you will be wanting to use a transfer thermal printer. Namely when you need a label or a sticker to last more than a year as uh, direct thermal labels have a couple downsides. Um, so since they react with heat, uh, it's pretty easy to uh, damage them with extreme heat. Um, so as you can see, if I get close to it, the lighter, it turns the paper black, right? So if I'm going to have this in extreme heat or sunlight for prolonged periods of time, the label can fade um, because the heat on the print head is what turns it black. So the sun or the weather can also turn it black. Another thing is uh, direct print thermal paper is not scratch proof. So if somebody has sharp nails or it rubs up against something, you know, just take a tack here and, you know, I can scratch it up and get some pretty nice black lines on there that can make it hard to read or understand my label. So those are a couple things to keep in mind. With uh, transfer thermal, it's a little more durable because you have that uh, ink being pushed into the paper rather than, you know, the kind of chemical reaction causing the coloring. So, as you saw there with the fire, it's kind of a similar thing with this print head. Print head gets warm, it, you know, burns the lines onto the paper, and that's how you get your image, right? So, really cool thing people don't really know about thermal printers is, you know, you can run all different kinds of labels through this, all different sizes, and different levels of complexity. So you don't have to just have letters or just have lines. You can have little graphics like this arrow. I've even printed pictures of cars on uh, thermal labels. Granted, they're not very detailed, but you know, just to push the limits of what I can do with a thermal printer. So guys, I hope you learned something about thermal printers. They're really cool technology and something you're gonna wanna be using. And I hope you learned a little bit about how they work. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you could do us a favor, give us a like, give us a share, give us a subscribe. We're trying to get to 4,000 before the end of the year, and we need your help to do it, and you could be the one to put us over the edge. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next week when we talk about something else great and exciting.